Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three items from Macy's Candy Kitchen, Macy's Macy's Department Store. It's the same one. Uh, it says Tasty Treats since 1902. So, they've been making them that long. Uh, these are malted milk balls. I have the PB&J mix and the Kraft Beer mix. Uh, these, uh, we actually paid, I was hoping to tell you we bought them on sale, but we didn't. Um, we were there during their Black Friday sale, but then, you, you, of course, you get to the counter and, and some tables were marked on sale, some were not. So these, we actually paid the price on the bag. So this was $11.95, and the bags... You see it or you will take it? Is it $6.95? $6.95. So $6.95 per bag. It was either six or eight. I couldn't tell. Yeah. So. Uh, and they're not big bags. Uh, yeah. $11.95. For malted milk. For malted milk balls. Yeah. I was thinking I could. <coughs> no. And, but these are big. They are, they are huge. Um, it says. I cannot read it. I think it says two pieces is 130 calories, and there's 12 servings. I think that chocolate is. Well. <laughs> Here, I'll stick that right in the middle. I think for sure. I like the layer, the thickness of the chocolate. Um, I'm disappointed how much malt flavor it has. Because it's got so much chocolate. It's huge. It is. You ate the whole thing. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only problem with it is, like I said, you're buying a milk, malted milk ball. You want that malted milk ball flavor. And it mm. really doesn't have that. It's more, it's all chocolate. They could have been chocolate balls and it would have been the same flavor, I think. So Kevin is a big fan of that I love ball. malted milk chocolate. So Kevin is disappointed. I love it. I think it's delicious. I think it's the perfect amount of malt for me because it's just a hint of it. Yeah. You're mainly getting chocolate, and I really do love the chocolate. The chocolate's really good. I don't have any complaint about the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm, my complaint is you're paying $12 for malted milk balls that don't taste like malted milk balls. They taste like chocolate balls. They taste like chocolate balls, but there is some malt there. A little bit. There is malt there, definitely. It's just not as strong as like a Whopper. No, I think if you're if you're liking a malted milk ball, buy Whoppers. But I think these um, are honestly made to be gifted. Yeah, um, and they're excellent chocolate. I mean, there's nothing nothing wrong with the chocolate. Mm, it's very, very good. Very good quality. I would get them again because I, I I think they're nice, and and I'm I'm happy with the amount of malt. It's not overboard, you know. Sure. Um, okay, this is a PB&J mix, salted peanuts, dried cranberries, and raisins. Uh, remember the taste of your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches as a kid? Well, we have combined the perfect blend of sweet and salty so you can enjoy it once again. Grab this on your way out the door for an energy boost any time of day. Seven servings are in the container. A fourth cup, 30 grams, is 160 calories. Not much. I can tell you right now, yeah, we didn't bring the scale over here to weigh these. But yeah, you, you're not going to get much. Uh, stuff like, mixes like this, it's a very, very small amount. And now oh, these... I the pecans. They did mention the pecans. Uh, wow, what are these? Dates? It says salted Cherry. peanuts. Yeah, I see the peanuts. Uh, there's more in here than what they said. Yeah. Peanuts, dried cranberries. And raisins. And almonds. So it has almonds. It has peanut butter chips because I saw a little, look, I see a peanut butter chip through the window. Yeah. There's peanut butter chips. Peanut butter chips. Uh, peanuts. Uh, I think there's pecans here. Salt. Okay. Pecans, raisins. Yeah, there's more in here than, than they're giving themselves credit for on the back. I don't know why they didn't put all that. Because trust me, most trail mixes, they want to list everything on the front. They should have done that on here. Uh, are these raisins? These I raisins? know, it's a huge. Look huh? how big the thing. It has to be a raisin because it doesn't say cherries. Mm -mm. You this think is, that would Now be... this hunk's stuck together. It says together. cranberries and raisins. Yeah, I got you a cranberry. Okay, I'm going to just eat this. Yeah. Yep, just a big raisin. It's a 
good mix. I really mm -hmm. like the flavors of it. I love the combination of the nuts. Mm -hmm. The pecan the, and the peanut. The pecan, the, the peanut, and the almond. Yeah, really um, good. And the almond is crunchy. Um, but the peanut comes through. I'm tasting the the uh, raisin. Mm -hmm. um, you get a little bit of burst of that uh, that cranberry sharpness, but not a lot. It's not really sharp. That is a very very nice. Um, I see where they're saying PB and J, but I kind of I, I don't because you taste so many of the other. Things. I know. I, I, that's what I was gonna say. I kind of think they took liberties with the name to get you to buy it. I mean, because I'll be honest, that's what made me buy it. Mm -hmm. Them calling it PB and J, it's like, oh yeah, that sounds like me. I'm gonna get that because they had all kinds of these to choose from, and these were the only two I got because they were. Six dollars ninety-five cents. Seven dollars for this this bag. I do have to say that they've got uh, quite a bit of nuts in there. Oh the yeah, the raisins are huge. The I cranberries are good. It tastes excellent. It's mm -hmm. very very good. I don't. Well, I wouldn't call it PB and J, but I do love that. It's mixture. only PB and J if you eat a chip and a and a fruit. Then it tastes like peanut butter and jelly. And, okay, so you're eating like a peanut butter chip or a peanut. Yeah, and and a piece of fruit. Because like normally P B and J, you're not gonna have almonds or, uh, or pecans, no. but I do like it. I do think it's really good quality. Mm, yeah, it's, it's a good mix. I don't know if it's any better or worse than other things you can get out there, but it is good. I don't think it's any like would would you have to go to Macy's to get that? No, we've had other trail mixes that have those same things. Mm -hmm. Um. But it, if you want to give somebody a nice gift with the Macy's name on it, yeah. and impress your friends. And, it, and it's good quality. Mm. This looks like a bar mix. Craft beer mix. Sesame sticks. Oh, I was like, what do you want? Uh, sesame sticks, cashews, salt, and pepper peanuts. Um... Yeah, I think there's more in here. Cheers to good beer, good friends, and our crunchy and lip-smacking mix of high-quality nuts and sesame sticks. Best with beer, but this mix can be enjoyed anywhere. You need some good times and energy. A fourth of a cup is 170 calories, so this is 10 more calories than the PB&J. Sesame sticks, sesame seeds. No, I didn't get any sesame seeds. Oh, that's probably in the yeah, on the sesame sticks. stick. It looks like there's a there's sesame sticks, salt and pepper peanuts, and there's some kind of toffee covered pe peanuts too. It says cashews. I got the cashews. There's um, some kind of coated peanut in there too. It's like sweet. Um, right. Okay. It's a nice mix. Mm -hmm. I love their sesame sticks. Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. yeah. I've had better sesame sticks though. I was gonna say I do not like the sesame sticks. It's, they're okay, but there there are better ones out there. I tell you, they're they're more of a they're closer to a bread stick, a sesame bread stick. And less of a true sesame stick that we've had in like the Great Value. Yes, I agree. They are, um, they're, um, they're not crunchy. No. They're not near crunchy enough. That's and they the almost problem. Taste like a, they almost taste like they have rye or something. In them. The problem for me is the texture. I mean, there's a difference in flavor too, but that texture kills it for me. It's like, I've told you before when we've been reviewing granola. I don't want a chewy granola. I want a crunchy granola. Those are chewy sesame sticks. I would never get that again because of that. It's good. I want a chewy sesame stick. It's good, but it's, but go get the Walmart. Um, the Great Value brand. Yeah, mm -hmm. Cajun one. Mm -hmm. good. It's much better. The best. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. Um, and you're going to probably pay about the same amount for That's a big bag. that. <laughs> for a lot more. Um, we haven't bought it in a while. Because we can't have it in the house. Yeah, eat too much of it. Because we love it. Eat it up. So we, we just can't afford to have it here. 
This I would I would pass. Completely. I would skip too because it's just not worth. The, you you'd be better off buying the sesame sticks and the mm -hmm. nuts yourself and mixing it together, or just go buy a Walmart. Yeah, I was not impressed with that at all. Yeah, that one's that um, one's not one I would buy again. But if you if you do want the quality, I do think the quality's there in the PB and J. Yeah. And I personally like the malted milk box. But you're buying it for the chocolate. But you're remember. buying it for the chocolate, and it does have a nice thick layer. It's, yeah, oh, yeah. it's nice chocolate. Yeah, it's it's real nice chocolate. Like I said, but I just don't think you you want to spend that money if you're looking for malt flavor. It exactly. Doesn't, well, doesn't have a lot of and you're paying and what 12 bucks $12. yeah 12 bucks for the bag uh so i will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching